Hi! Welcome to FREE! I'm Geraldine and in this motivational video we're going to answer the question How long does it take to learn English? How long does it take to learn English? And the answer is... It depends. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, there are answers to this, but it does depend on the kind of level you want. To be proficient in English, near native, in the best case scenario, you need five to seven years. I'm going to explain everything in this video. Now, I said it depends. It really depends because it depends on the level of English you want. When I say five to seven years, best case scenario, it's not the idea that you say, oh, come on, it's too long and I will never do it. That is from a person who's starting from zero. So let's see where you are and what you can do. Remember, this is a language, a whole language. So in the end, you really never end learning it. It's like your native language, whichever it is. Have you finished learning it? You no, know, you continue learning new words, the vocabulary develops, but it doesn't mean you don't speak it. The point is that you will always be learning and that is not a bad thing. I am teaching you and I am also learning. I have to study to teach you this. So I keep learning. We are always learning. So first step, don't be afraid of how long you will study English because everything is learning in life and English is just one more thing. And the idea is that you don't feel that you don't like doing it. The idea is that you enjoy it while you do it, especially if you know that it takes long to learn it well. I'm going to explain very quickly about the levels. The Common European Framework of Reference tells us that there are A to C levels, basic to advanced, or let's say from beginner to proficient, near native. And so it depends on the, the level you want. If you need a basic level, a basic level is a speaker who's able to communicate and get some ideas, but not probably in the best way, but you have that ability. The second level, the intermediate, they call it the independent user. An independent user is able to communicate with uh, no problems, although there might be some weaknesses in the language, this person can be fully understood and understand asking for ask for clarification or anything or explain further something. Uh, the last level, the C level advanced level, is a proficient user, a user that has a native like level. If you are trying to prepare for TOEFL or IELTS, that is the level you are looking for. And here we're talking about common English speaking. Everyday English. If you are aiming to take TOEFL or IELTS, in addition to that daily English, you need an academic background. You need academic knowledge. So that might even make, make uh, your level higher because it's academic English or a different kind of English, academic English. And I told you that five to seven years is the best case scenario. Uh, what is the best case scenario? The best case scenario is a young student, not as young as a baby or a child because that person is still developing his or her own language. We're talking about a teenager who's still young enough to absorb and to have that capacity of learning uh, very quickly. In that case, you will learn um, the fastest. And there are also, in between these levels, uh, some figures that they give us. Um, we said five to seven best case scenario, worst case scenario, seven, 10 years to be proficient. Uh, the first level is the uh, shortest level. You can have a basic level of language in one year. I mean, finish being almost at the intermediate level of language after a year of instruction. You will find um, all the sources in the description of the video from the articles I've checked. Some other uh, say that you need um, 360 hours to have the basic command of the language too. 
And if you think about it, 360 hours, that also might be almost like a year if you've been studying for an hour daily, for instance. But it will depend on how often you study, of course. And it's not because you study once a month in a year you're going to have that level. You have to constantly study. Then we have the next level. And the next level takes longer. In the basic level, it's at least one year. For the intermediate level, you will need two years at minimum. Maybe many of you, if you can understand what I'm saying, and this is the level where you are. Maybe you have uh, even studied several times. You started and you started because you wanted to learn well. Then you have certain level, you understand some things, but when you continue study, you get easily discouraged because you won't see an improvement. It doesn't mean that you don't have the improvement. You don't see it because you are at the level that is intermediate level in which it takes longer to see really what is coming into you. There are some things that happen in your brain that I can't explain, but I'm sure that people have studied that make it uh, last longer, make us stay in this level longer. So again, do not get discouraged. Maybe you see simple present again, if you're studying English. Well, yeah, because now that you have a different um, uh, understanding of the language, you will get more than when you studied it and you had no idea what the language was about or it was explained in a different way. It's the same thing, but you are different. So you will learn it, learn it again. And then after the intermediate level, it will take at least also uh, another year and a half, two years minimum when you are in the advanced level. So it takes a while. You don't feel like if you are not a teenager, you are never going to learn it. You also have an advantage that is the academic background that a teenager doesn't have. So when you have an academic background, and obviously if you are uh, older, the older you are, the more experience you have had, and the more you have seen English also in your life. Um, probably you do have, you're not zero, you're starting from a certain level and you have the academic background. So do not get discouraged. Use the positive you have and apply it into learning it. It's little by little. I will say this again. Don't let people fool you and say that in a month or in two months, you will jump from a basic to intermediate or from an intermediate to an advanced or speaking in TOEFL IELTS from an 80 to 100. That doesn't happen in a month or in two months. That happens a long way. So think, for example, the basic. If it's 360 hours average, uh, start thinking. If you want uh, to, 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 to reach a goal, don't think seven years. Think first level, I want to finish the basic level. For example, to see the accomplishment. And maybe you are not zero level, so from those 360 hours, you will need fewer. But put that number, for example, 360 hours. In how long can you do that? Divide it into, uh, into months, maybe 360 hours in a year. That would be 30 hours or so a month. Are you going to study one hour every single day? Probably not. Are you going to, to study 15 days out of those 30? Can you study for two hours those 15 days out of 30? Maybe no, maybe one hour, 15 days. So that way you will know how long it will take you to reach that or the first goal, for example. Of course, this is hours of instruction. The day has 24 hours. If you devote one hour to English, you have 23 hours in which your life is in a different language. So try to incorporate English into all those other hours. Maybe not all of them, but instead of one, two hours, or maybe you say, I can study today, but I will watch a movie. Those two hours of English, watch a movie in English. 
uh, watch something that you like, listen to something in English, try to read something in English. And that way you will increase your hours of learning and your hours of instruction. It's important that when you are doing things that are not studying officially, you think that you are studying, so you are paying attention more to what is going on in English around you, not just watching the movie just because. Watch the movie and pay attention to the phrases they use, the language they use, the grammar they use. I mean, it, we, uh, according to what you, you know, what you can hear, maybe the pronunciation, the same with music. Or just know that, feel good that you're getting some of the language in English from, from what you're reading or what you're listening or what you're watching. That way you're going to learn faster and get to the level you need. What is the level you need? It's basic, intermediate, advanced, advanced academic. Let me know. Don't get discouraged. You will always be learning and I will be here for you to help you. Thank you for watching comment, subscribe, and see you soon.